Hello students, in the previous class we have discussed about crystal field splitting. Today I am going to discuss you about the bonding in metal carbonyls. So let us see generally what is metal carbonyls. So when a metal is bonded to carbonyl group or carbonyl group is bonded to metal, we call it as metal carbonyl. Okay, so generally here the ligands whatever we are taking, the ligands consist of only carbonyl groups. Then what is carbonyl group here? CO. So this we can say homolyptic complexes. Why? Because we are saying homolyptic means it is having same type of carbonyl group. Okay. So by this what we can say here metal. Carbonyls. Our homo leptic complexes where ligands are only consist of CO group. Okay, so means what here most of the transition metals will form the metal carbonyls. So these are have very simple. And here oxidation state will be, if suppose the oxidation state is zero, they have simple and defined structures. So defined structures is nothing but what here. In this, if suppose in this, the oxidation state of metal is zero. Then what will happen? They have simple and well defined structures we can say. Okay. So then what is the structures? For example, if you have been taken NiCO4. So the structure will be NiCO, CO. CO, CO. If you have been taken Fe, CO5. So when you have been taken here, the oxidation state will be 0 for this. So then what you will be getting? So this is the shape of tetrahedral we are going to get. Okay. So for this we are getting trigonal bipyramidal. So if you have been taken like this. CO, 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 CO. So this is the shape. So you are going to get trigonal bipyramidal shape. If you have been taken Cr, CO6. So this is all a transition elements. So what we can say here, it is from it can form what here octahedral shape. So if you have been observed here, each element is each transition element is having. 0 oxidation state why because these are very simple this will give different structures also okay so next one not only this not only this we can take mn co 10 mn 2 co 10 so this will form the structure of here mn rigid type of compounds which is known as each mn co consist of So this one actually the structure. So door decker carbonyl diamagnese we are same. But here we are forming two square pyramidal structures. Okay. So it will form two square pyramidal structures or we can say here decker carbon. So this is nothing but this is a square pyramid. We can say fused square pyramid. Why? Because two MN groups is there. So this is nothing but metal carbonyls examples. Okay. So generally how the bond is going to form between them. So what is a bond between them it is going to form here we can say here. So generally here we are taking metal. So here the metal carbon bond. The metal carbon bond 
इन कार्बनाइल्स सो हाउ इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज लाइक दिस द मेटल कार्बन बॉन्ड इन कार्बनाइल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज मीन्स द कार्बनाइल ग्रुप इज डोनेटिंग टू द मेटल आइटम सो मीन्स वॉट हियर इट विल हैव बोथ सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड ऑल्सो पाइप बॉन्ड बाई डोनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम कार्बन टू मेटल सो मेटल टू कार्बन we can take metal to carbon it can represent or carbon to metal it can donate so by means what we can say here the metal carbon bond possesses both sigma and pi bond are formed by donation of electrons from carbon to metal and metal to carbon we can say so how we we are saying this is how it is producing sigma and pi bonds is nothing but here so when you take metal so it is donating electron c triple bond one so it is having metal is having field orbitals we are taking so like this we are taking okay so when it is donating electrons it is forming sigma bonds and also it forms what here when it is moving when metal is giving to carbon it will give pi bonds so then automatically here also what you will get pi bonds to pi bonds one sigma bond it is going to form okay so this is nothing but what this is we call it as synergic bonding this type of bonding we call it as synergic bonding so whenever the pi bond creates synergic effect and strengthens so the bond between c1 and metal okay so how the pi bond forms this one synergic bonding interaction of carbonyl compounds so this is what we call it as synergic bonding why we are saying why we are saying synergic bonding when carbon is donating electrons to metal it is forming sigma bonds then how pi bonds are formed when metal is donating to carbon it forms pi bond so that is the reason we call it as synergic bond okay so this is what here this is this bond whenever it is forming the bond automatically it will form what here the bond will very energetic and it forms strengthens the co and metal between these two bonds that will form a strong interaction strong overlapping so these are nothing but metal carbonyls now let us see about stability of complexes next one stability of complexes so generally stability of complexes we call it as we say that degree of association between the equilibrium state when two species is there we say the degree of association or we can say it depends on equilibrium constant for the formation of complex to form the complex it will follow the equilibrium constant according to law of equilibrium okay so means what here the stability or formation for association will give the stability so what we can say here the stability of complex compounds depends on magnitude of equilibrium constant for the formation of complex to form a complex it will follow the equilibrium constant so now consider the reaction m plus nl which will be a equilibrium equation so we will be writing mln so this one can be so when the the stability constant is larger then the water product we form that one will be 
very higher so in solution it will be very high. whenever the free metal ions is exist in the solution so then metal will be surrounded by solvent molecules will compete with the ligand molecules okay so by this what we can say here by this how much it is generally the stability constant is denoted by k according to law of equilibrium the concentration of products to the concentration of reactants we can say yes or no so the concentration of products to the concentration of reactants we call it as equilibrium so how much greater the stability that much higher will be the stability constant so by this what we can say here greater the k value greater will be the stability of complex okay so this one we call it as instability constant or dissociation constant also not only this we can take different types you suppose if you have been taking a plus cell so then what you will be getting it will give ml so then k1 will be what you will be getting ml by concentration of m into concentration of l if you take m plus l2 ml2 k2 is equals to concentration of ml2 by concentration of m into concentration of l sorry first one we have been taking ml2 so you will be getting concentration of ml into m now if you have been taking ml2 plus l you will be getting ml3 k3 is equals to concentration of ml3 by ml2 l so like this you are going to get okay so this is the way we are getting until if you have been taken four suppose if you have been taken ml3 plus l ml4 so if you have been taken k4 is equals to ml4 by ml3 l so by this k1 k2 k3 k4 these are we call it as step by stability constants so alternately we can get overall stability constant also here so what we he say k1 k2 k3 k4 this one we call it as step by stability constant in the step wise we are doing no so that's why we call it as what here step wise stability constant if suppose if you have been taken the overall stability constant so what is the overall stability constant so the overall stability constant will be so if you have been taken m plus 4l then you are going to get ml4 so this one indicated by beta 4 which is known as overall stability constant so then you are getting ml4 by concentration of m into concentration of l to the power 4 okay so by this what we can say here so generally beta 4 is nothing but here if you take the relation between stepwise and overall stability constant so then you are going to get like this the equation k1 k2 k3 k4 so on k so this is the thing if you, k4 only 4 we have taken if beta n if you have been taken k n you are getting so this is nothing but what here stability constant so generally the dissociation constant or instability constant is inversely proportional to 1 by formation constant what we can say here the dissociation constant or instability constant is equals to what here 1 by formation constant so whenever the constant is forming automatically it is inversely proportional to dissociation constant so we have been spoken about this all about the association constant so this is about stability constant and metal cup nails okay if you have been taken examples in stepwise like cu plus 2 and h3 
it will give cu and h3 plus 2 then you will be writing the product as a starting and reactants as a denominator so this is nothing but what here metal carbonyls and stability of complexes in the next class we can discuss about the new chapter thank you